back and forth just for pleasure, but otherwise it's also part of uh, the highway in a way. Uh, so you, instead of driving through Sweden to Denmark, you can use the ferry. Uh, we've got the port here to the left, and uh, take a look to the right. You see some odd empty chairs. Can you see them? Yes. What are I'll those? Yes. If Marco no, now reduces speed, if it's possible, think of the fact that in the fjord here uh, to the left, uh, about 20 minutes uh, drive from here, there's a ship called the Blicher that is at the bottom of the sea. The Nazis came up here on April 9th at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, to actually invade Norway. Uh, the war was over, as you know, in 1945. However, part of Hitler's plan was also to erase all Jewish people from the face of this earth. Unfortunately, close to 900 Jewish people were deported uh, from Norway, from this port, on board the ship Donau to be sent to concentration camps in Auschwitz. And therefore, these chairs are there to commemorate those that lost their lives the Jewish people that lost their lives. Otherwise, it did affect quite a lot of the Norwegian population in general. <coughs> uh, to the right, we've got the city hall, those two square towers. It's the only building in the city uh, where you actually have a building with those two square towers. So that could be a landmark to show that where you are. On the opposite side, there's a port, and as uh, you heard this morning, this was where one built ships. Today, it's actually a very fashion. And uh, they're always in front of the uh, parade on uh, our Constitution Day, 17th of May. No military in use here, because then we fill the streets with children uh, and so on. Uh, but the police horses always are in front of any parade. Uh, they used in uh, in also simply to uh, to show that the police are people you can talk to and have them with carrots if you want to. We have to go back to uh, uh, Christian the Fourth love here for a little bit uh, because there are so many one-way streets here that it's impossible to go back the way we wanted to. Spent some time on a windmill.